this week's hymn playing tip, we're going to talk about what to do whenever the singers are holding a note for maybe three or four beats, where as the pianist, you're expected to fill that space with some sort of improvisation. And so I'm going to give you three different ideas that you can choose today, really basic hymn playing fill-ins to do during three to four beat holds. I'm going to be using the song I Am Resolved. And so the first time we see a longer hold in our music is after the first phrase, I am resolved no longer to linger, charmed by the world's delight. The singers are holding it for three beats, then we have a rest. So for the pianist, we have four beats where we are filling the space, so to speak. So I'm going to start off with a left hand style fill in. And this filling can be done in multiple ways. So as we're looking at fill in space, we're looking at the time we have available. So if I have four beats available, this song is in four, four timing. That means I have four beats to fill. So I could play quarter notes in my left hand. I could play sets of eighth notes. I could play triplets, 16th notes. So you're gonna have to decide that based on the level at which you can go with your left hand as far as speed. So the first thing we can do is I can walk down my chords here as we're going from world, D, light. We're on a five chord and we're headed to the one chord. So I can do the very simple walk-in where I walk down one, two, three, four, and that will get me right on the one chord on beat one. That's a really basic fill-in. So as you're starting to add these fill-ins, start with more of the simple timing and work your way down, getting used to the feel of that. Now here's another option that we can use if we use eighth notes. So if I use eighth notes and I have four beats there, I need to fill that space with eight eighth notes. So I need to figure out where I'm gonna start and how I'm gonna solve kind of this walking down. If I walk down an eighth notes from that five chord, which is F, that space. So as you're thinking about this, you're thinking, okay, how many notes can I fit in this amount of time and do it as eighth notes? So I'm going to go ahead with this one and do world D light. And on the end of beat one, I'm going to jump to a B flat. And if you notice my timing is one and two and three and four and things that are hard. So it leads me right into that. Now, that's just kind of a brief left hand movement we can try. There's another place where we have a four beat hold. That's that before the chorus. So we're on a one chord. These have alert five, one, and then we're going to a one chord. So what can we do here? Well, if we're going from a one to a one, we can walk up to it. One, two, three, four. Now I'm on beat one. So I can go to the five of that chord. So we have a B flat chord. My one is B flat, my five is F. So I'm just jumping down to it and walking back up. So these have alert my sight. Now that's if we were doing quarter notes. Now let's talk about what could we do if we did eighth notes. So we have these have alert my entire octave. And that kind of leads me into more bass walking. So I can walk up in quarter notes, I can walk up in eighth notes, and there's more advanced options as triplets and sixteenths, but those are some brief ways to use the left hand. Now let's talk about the right hand and let's do some right hand scale work. So we just did some left hand bass walking and some scale work. We're gonna do the same idea with the right hand. So going back to Charm by the World's Delight, I'm gonna end on an F chord, C is my melody, and I need to get to a D in my melody. Well, they're right next to each other. I have four beats, so let's see if we can make an entire octave happen. Now obviously we'll have to count it. Let's use eighth notes. One and two and three and four and, and we ended right on one. 
So let's do that in time. So while my right hand is doing that, my left hand can do a few things. I can play two beats in this register and then jump down the last two an octave lower. Another option would be. So I'm courting it as I'm working my way up. Another option we could choose is to go opposite directions. Another option we can choose for our right hand is to outline the chord using quarter notes. So we have worlds deep. So, chord, Let's talk about a quick two-handed option we can do during these holds. So, this is going to be a basic version, and then we'll go a little bit more advanced with it. So, we can use what we would call maybe an echo chord or an echo option where we echo the melody. So, let's talk about echoing chords. So, I'm playing my melody, world's D light, and the inversion that my right hand is in, I'm going to jump it up an octave and left hand will play the same inversion. So notice I'm in my second inversion here of that F major chord. And then from there, I can invert it going up however many beats I have, or I can play that same inversion up the octave. So we have charm by the world's Another echo option would be echoing the chord that you're holding in third. So if I'm landing on this F chord, I'm going to go up the octave and I'm going to play the third of the chord in my right hand and the root in my left as octaves. And I'm going to step up in thirds. Here's my F major chord. And in essence, what I'm doing is this right here, walking up in thirds in that chord. So here's what it would sound like. And so I walked up, I echoed it back down, or you can just stay up. Not all the time with this echo work for the hold that you have. So again, all of these are trying them and seeing, does it sound right? Does it fit? But I'm looking for timing and spaces to fill. So these are just basic patterns you can begin to throw in today in your playing just to add a little extra during those lengthy holds.